All right, so we have uh, just finished up in Substance Painter. We've exported out the mesh, uh, FBX and OBJ as two examples. And we are going to the next step. We also ex um, uh, export out the material for uni uh, Unity in a metallic specular or metallic uh, format. So that'll be our next step after this tutorial is how to bring it in and also how to export this uh, animation out Make it out as an FBX uh, with animation and uh, with no texture, and we'll add that in the material editor and Unity, uh, um, hopefully. <laughs> so uh, I'm used to Unreal, so uh, I'm sure a very similar uh, material editor, um, but I'll, I'll find out shortly. All right, so right here, this is a, a down and dirty. Uh, Maya rig. Um, we're going to do it really fast, uh, hopefully in the next 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, it's very simple. Um, there's no blend shapes. Uh, typically with Unity and Unreal you can add blend shapes. So if you wanted to do gills or puffing or breathing of the chest, we could do that. But basically I just put this uh, really quick uh, rig in there so it's actually swimming. And then I put a ring in here to kind of a little bit up and down and a, and a little bit undulation of the head as it's moving through the water. Um, nothing great. It's not a, a, a rig that you would do uh, Finding Nemo where it would be very complicated. Uh, but we do have uh, the mid torso and the bottom torso fins. I'm not even using the right terms. I don't even know what these fins are. And I'm not even sure if they actually even move like that. So all the mechanics of this fish could be completely wrong. But this is the exciting part. You would just get to dig in and go around your campus and find out who specializes in that, like, and get their input. Because this is really the exciting stuff that you guys are doing is kind of showcasing the mangroves and uh, the science overlay is probably the most exciting part, not just mimicking the artist version that I'm doing here. All right, so I'm going to stop and we're going to, um, I'm going to save this. Um... here into my folder redfish and then we're gonna go final uh, underscore rig and I call this final underscore rig okay and I'm saving as a Maya binary I want to save it just just in case uh, the other one that I'm going to make is bad or worse. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I want to be able to export this all as FBX. So uh, so with some of the things like the nerves and the locator and the rigs, these do not, when you export it out, it only bakes an animation into the mesh. It's not going to bring in all this uh, other uh, data in there. Um, and, and that can change in the future where you can be able to animate in Unity and Unreal with... Uh, what a digital uh, joining the, the crew, this, this stuff could be part of it. And it could be part of it now. I am, I'm not 100% with uh, Unity. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, start from scratch, new, new scene. And you saw me save it. And what we're gonna do is import. And we're gonna go in here to uh, where we saved it. Just double click, make, double check and make sure we got that substance painter. And I think I had final build. And I'm just gonna bring in the uh, FBX. OBJ is the same, same. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and import it in. All right, so you can see my trans X, Y, Z rotation is all zero. If it is not, um, always make sure you freeze this out, do your freeze transformation, that'll uh, zero all that. So your origin of axes is here. Also, if you've got some data here, you want this nice and light in game engines. You don't want and like all this garbage of all your modeling and always delete by history. Uh, that'll make it nice and light. Uh, again, this is like older game engines. That, that would have been a difference. But if you're publishing um, a real commercial product, you definitely want to think about that as part of your uh, pipeline. All right, so what we're going to do is really quickly um, go through the rigging process. I'll probably do this live in class and then have this as a backup video for you guys to uh, look at. So typically we're in the modeling phase so far. We've just been model, model, model. And now we're just going to go in here and hit uh, create locator. And you don't see it, but you're going to hit R. 
and it's basically just a big uh, kind of a what would you call that just some sort of XYZ kind of primitive form here all right so I'm gonna pull this up kind of the dead center or the center uh, of gravity for a fish you know kind of everything pivots from here on back um, so I'll put that there I'm also going to go ahead and create a NURBS. Now NURBS are great, especially circles. They uh, do not render out. So you probably have seen these on, if you're into animation, you'll probably see these on animation rigs or there's things that are easily uh, grabbable and you can grab it within a scene. All right, so uh, just going to make that up to par with that. And you can go to your side view and see where that hang is out all right again the fish probably isn't 100 accurate but uh once you get a hold of a real one i'm sure there's some amazing uh, fish markets here that you can kind of go down and take pictures or go in the, the docks and uh, when they're unloading the fish that's really cool to kind of meet up with the fishermen too all right so what we're going to do is now we're going to go instead of modeling we're going to go into something called rigging all right, so we're going to go into skeletal and we're going to do basically uh, create joints. I'm going to go ahead and make a tear off. A tear off just means just like in Photoshop and Illustrator, these little tabs you can click and tear it off. So you can don't always have to go back and forth and click, 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 click. So I'm going to go uh, to my side view. I'm also going to grab my layer and hit create empty layer and lock this in. And uh, everyone should know how to do this from our... Uh, homework assignment uh, where we are learning how to do that with the chairs and all that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and insert a joint. Um, so I'm going to add one right below all my rigging so I can actually see where it is. And I'm going to, again, this is a center uh, point here. And all right, let's, let's create joint again. Let's try it again. All right, I'm going to create a joint right here. And the idea is that I'm going to create a joint from here to here in just a second. But right now, this is basically right here. This is the midpoint. This is kind of where everything is going to start to bend for the fish. And I kept it simple uh, to there. All right. So that way, basically it's bending here, kind of secondary and third movements here. Um, if you ever dissected a uh, fish, you know there's vertebrae going all the way and it's a more of a fluid uh, bend. Again, I'm doing this super fast. There's a thousand ways of rig. I'm just doing something that's efficient that will work for you guys for your um, project. And again, I don't know uh, how in depth that you want to get into the animation. So, but I'm just getting something you guys can get uh, your hands on. All right, so I don't know why this create joint is giving me a headache. All right, so I'm gonna do two here. Okay, hit enter. And you can hit G to do the last tool that you had. Okay, here, hit enter. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out here. And you could duplicate those. Uh, I like to do them fresh, so it's a nice hierarchy. So uh, we're gonna pull these out. Try to get them into the midpoint of that mesh. This is really important. And uh, we're gonna do that again. Gonna go ahead and create joints. And I'm gonna do kind of above it so that we don't run over each other. Hit W. Um, so we're in Maya. All right, so we have that second one. I'll go ahead, go over here, move it to uh, the midpoint of that arm or that fin, it's not an arm, and uh, rinse and repeat for the upper fin too. So I'm gonna grab that, pull it over here. Again, you want that kind of where the meat is, it's gonna do a pretty decent job of putting this when we bake the mesh, but then it's gonna, we're gonna have to do some uh, weight painting, which rigging is always a pain. Uh, for me, some people love it. I'm not one of those people that love it, but I just, I do bare bones because I'm not doing high-end animation for the projects that I do. I keep it uh, very simple uh, for VR and AR. It's this maybe secondary animation stuff, stuff that's in the background, like a trash bag floating in the sky or something like that. Totally making that up. But um, anyways, 
you're just going to go ahead and hit your W, just kind of get that into the membrane of the mesh. And again, I have the mesh turned off uh, so you're not accidentally grabbing it. That's kind of key. I'll pull this in. And, all right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to start parenting everything together. So you can see I'm just going to grab the head of these joints and I'm holding it on shift, shift, shift. And you see it grabs a whole entire thing. And I'm going to grab this top one right here and hit P as in Paul. And you can see it parents them all together. So once I grab this, they're grabbing all of them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit shift again and grab this uh, locator and I'm going to hit P again. So whenever I grab the locator, it's grabbing the whole hierarchy so I can animate. All right, so now we're going to go grab this and hit uh, the ring of fire and hit P. So that way when I grab the ring, it's grabbing everything. So you can imagine uh, when I grab that, it, everything is kind of at that head point we can animate. This is just what I just did earlier. All right, so this is the exciting part. You probably want to save it just in in case it crashes, um, I'm not going to because uh, I'm lazy. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna hit shift select. And you notice I didn't grab the locator and the nerves ring. I'm just grabbing just sugar snaps, uh, just the main rig here. And I'm gonna shift select the mesh. And what we're doing is going to uh, bind that skin on there. And so definitely in rigging again, Make sure you go to skin and we're going to do something called bind skin and go to dialog box. I think it's already preset uh, bind to joint um, hierarchy and uh, uh, you can go to closest distance is kind of old school. Uh, I think the geodesic uh, uh, voxel is the latest. There's a classic. Uh, again, you can do a deep dive in this. You can spend your whole entire career just rigging. Uh, a lot of this is exported um, offshore for these because it is so painful. So I'm just going to go ahead uh, buy and skin. And sometimes it, if it's a very complex model, if you like 2000 little rigs that I have done, it can get uh, uh, slow. So when I click off of it, you can see it turns into these colors and just kind of showing you the weight. And you really, really want to quickly see if it worked, just grab one of those joints. And what I'm gonna do is go back and uh, turn this back off uh, to R, so that way I'm not grabbing the fish over and over. All right, so you can see quickly uh, that the fish is working properly. And one of the things that you'll see doesn't work properly is these fins, uh, you can start to see like this utter upper uh, fin is moving. So there's things that we need to uh, paint out as uh, joints. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on. All right, we're gonna hit this and we're gonna go to uh, skin and we're gonna go paint uh, skin weights and click on that. And you'll definitely wanna hit five and you'll see uh, basically the hierarchy of these as we go through. But let's, let's do it again. Paint and we're gonna go to dialog box. Definitely need a dialog box because you wanna grab joint by joint and we're gonna grab the first joint and what I want is get this, remember how that fin was kind of moving this upper, I want to say dorsal fin, whatever it is fin uh, was moving them. So I'm just going to just make sure that is like liquefied white. And what that means is that first joint, it's not going to move. It's not going to move related to those other guys. So anytime, I know none of this is going to move up here. So I'm just getting everything solid white. All right. Just like so. That way there's no deformations on this head of this fish, all right? So if we were uh, really get into it, we would probably do blend shapes with the mouth. It's probably, the, I can imagine the mouth is pursing in and out uh, for airflow, uh, not airflow, but water flow for oxygen. So some of the stuff we want to negate. So I know once we start moving this fan, we don't want this uh, uh, moving. We want it uh, solid white. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and Paint it a little bit more here. All right, on the other side, Alt, move it around. And you notice it's not doing symmetry now. Uh, there's no way to paint symmetry for joints. I could be wrong on that. I'm always wrong on everything. But uh, here we go. So let's go down to our other joints. 
So you can start to see the influence of that other stuff. Then you can hit control and unpaint. So you don't want any influence on the rest of the body. All right, so we're gonna go just keep going down these joints and hitting control on your PC. I don't know what that is. Just gonna have to play around. All right, so you can see there's a lot of influence here. Control, knock that down. You really don't want that uh, influencing the belly. So I'm hitting control again. Okay. Same here, joint 16, control, just getting rid of that influence. Right. Control. Sorry, and, I, and I'm rushing through this. So definitely uh, take your time on this. I can definitely see it up here. And it's hard to see, uh, especially when uh, it's green, but if you're seasoned, you can see it pretty uh, well. All right. All right, so this is really what I want to animate is this joint. So everything else looks pretty good. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can save, but go ahead and you want to go to your selection tool, which is Q if you want a hotkey. Um, still on a painter. All right, there we go. All right, so really quickly, I'm going to animate it. And we have 120 frames here. I'm just going to go ahead and, and cap it off for 30. This is just the beginning of, of whatever you guys are going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, 30 here. So if you're working hand in hand with a programmer, uh, you can blend shape uh, between like a very fast swim or angular movement, uh, like from one through 30, it says breathing and swimming lightly. And then you from 31 to 60, it's fast and 61 to 120 is like a right churn and 120 to 150 is a left churn. So this timeline, you would work with a programmer and they would, uh, you know, use that data to uh, change influencing of this. And also the programmer uh, with Unity could use this for flocking too. So they could flock a school of redfish and usually redfish are in schools. Sometimes they're loners too, uh, but I've seen massive amount of schools offshore in the Gulf of Mexico with redfish, especially near um, drilling uh, stations out in the, uh, in the ocean. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm just doing down and dirty one through 30, and we're gonna export out this animation that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do, and then uh, bring it to Unity with some luck, all right? So again, there's no texture on here. We don't want any texture on it because we've already done it. We're gonna add it in Unity. That's where this is all gonna end up anyways. We're not rendering an Arnold or V-Ray or Mental Ray and Maya. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's not have me talk anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and hit some E's and see what we got here. All right, so that's a pretty good bend. You can see there's not that much influence on the other things. So what I like is the keyframe um, cycle. So everything is at midpoint right now. So when I hit, I have that joint selected. I'm gonna to go to 15, hit S. S is basically a keyframe. You'll wanna see these uh, red hashes here. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do a left turn. Hit S and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do a right turn. I don't even know if that's right or left. So I'm gonna go back here, go to my one. Again, S for keyframe. S, S is in Sam, and then I'm going to just gentle, uh, a little bit more radical turn on these so it's uh, nice and subtle. All right, and let's go back to the beginning. Just, I'm gonna just keep going down the ladder here. S, probably S, S, and then uh, just very gentle, probably added too much. And then uh, go back to the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit further back. S, S, S. All right, pull that here. S, S, all right. All right, I'm gonna go to the very end where this may be really curled. And again, you would work with a uh, marine biologist or, or whomever and uh, see if you can get this these movements correct. You know, sometimes they're in hunting mode, or maybe they're just uh, sleeping. 
So uh, let's rewind it to the beginning and you'll see uh, my cycle. So when you do a loop cycle, it should be pretty seamless and you wanna keep it nice and uh, perfect. All right, so let's go all the way to the beginning. Again, I have not done any research online to see what these movements are. I'm just totally making this up, but I'm just showing you what you could do for these. So I'm just going to pull this out. Pull it out again. All right, so this is kind of looping in and out uh, multiple times. Uh, rinse and repeat. Uh, S, S, S. I'm going to pull this out. Oh, it's a little bit more flair to it. And again, it's probably totally wrong. And it definitely, I think I just did this before and I said not to go so crazy with it. Just probably very subtle with these. They're probably like ski poles are probably just there to balance and help guide. So I'm just going to go here, pull this out again. All right, we'll go here, rinse and repeat S. I'm going very, very fast. You guys will be going like, what is he doing? But just take your time with it, S and S. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and do these also, 15, 30. And at midpoint, just kind of pull these that direction. Very subtle. All right, I'm not gonna do the secondary one, just, just just a little, really quickly to get some flavor of this S, S, and then uh, just pull these out, and pull this out, hit S. All right, so if we hit play, we can start to see very, very uh, quick movement. That's pretty fast pace, I can imagine, but you can see some pretty good swing uh, of the tail if we looked at top. Uh, rotation and it probably has more of a curl here I didn't animate right here all right so one of the other things I, I like to do is just probably grab this ring of fire we'll go ahead and hit s uh, 15 s and 30 and I'm just going to kind of uh, influence to turn s and then over here as it's coming over here we'll turn here and I'm going to give it a, a little bit of a bobble too S and then let's go over here and bring it a little bobble here. S and then we'll probably go over here and just pull it down. All right, let's see what it does. And it's just a little subtle animation. All right, oh, that's weight. That does not look good. All right, let's hit Command Z. I'm going to take those bobbles out. All right. All right, so a little bit of up and down. I probably could. Uh, Limit that just a little bit um, in a really easy way. To, now we're getting really into the woods, but you could go into Windows, Animation Editor, Graph Editor, uh, and look look at that. And you could definitely uh, pull these down so it's not so radical. All right, so let's, let's play it again. All right, so you can see the influence is a little bit down. Again, this is where all uh, great animators spend most of their time here. So I'm just pulling this way down. All right, that's pretty subtle. So before it was wackadoodle, like hopping all over the place. Just, just a little bit of subtlety, just to show a little range of rotational value and so forth, the slippage of it um, through the fluid, the fluid dynamics uh, effect. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, again, I have already saved it. Maybe I'll save this one to save as. Let's go ahead. Um, Redfish, Miami, Redfish, Final Rig. All right, two. I don't know if that was it. All right, save as. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the graph editor. 
And what we're going to do is export. We're going to export the selection. And we're, we don't have anything selected. Let's try that again. Export. Let's grab that export selection. Okay, we're going to open up this dialog. Um, and what we want is an FBX, not an OBJ, because FBX will be able to uh, export those animations. All right, if you don't, uh, OBJ will just be just a static object. So we're going to export selection. Hopefully, it brings up a dialog. So um, definitely an animation. And we're going to click on animation that we're going to bake in and bake animation 1 through 30. So if you have 120, 180, you would put that in there. All right. So we're going to call this uh, uh, animation underscore red fish. I'm going to call it a test because I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So we're going to dump it and that same folder. And we're going to go redfish and final rig. Redfish my files. I hope this is it. All right, so export. And again, embedded media and definitely baked animation. That's really what we want. All right, so we're going to hit export selection. Sometimes it takes a while to kind of do all that. I think it just did it. I have no idea. So the way I tell is to start up with a new scene. We've already saved it, hopefully. And we're gonna import that scene or import that fish. All right, so we have that red fish final. FDX, I don't think that's it. Let's go back one folder. Final build, support textures, red fish, final rig and animation FBX. All right, hopefully it brings it in. All right, I actually brought in the rig and that's interesting. And we hit play. All right, so that's the FBX. So that should hopefully uh, bring into Unity. All right, so what I gotta do is my homework, I've gotta go and import uh, Unity and then uh, try to see if I can get the uh, shaders to work. All right, talk to you soon.